Well, happening today, today is all about giving back to the community and the Humane Society of El Paso needs more than just money. Good morning, El Paso's Isabella Martinez joins us live to tell us how we can help these homeless animals in El Paso. Good morning. Good morning, Rosemary. That's right. We're here at the Humane Society of El Paso and joining me this morning is Robert along with Peaches, the sweetest little girl. Tell us a little bit about Peaches, of course, her pink cast that she has been rocking all morning does not bother her at all. It does not face her. She's a great girl. Tell us a little bit about her. She She's here uh, under special care, right? Yes, she came to us from the county. Um, she has a fractured tibia, so you can see she's got a really cool pink cast. <laughs> um, she is actually available for our medical foster program which allows you to take her home, you care for her, uh, you bring her in, we, do, we continue to do all the medical treatment. She has to be resplinted every, well, about every 10 days, they put a new cast on her. She's gonna be coming up uh, on x-rays too and bring her in and we take care of that as well. But she's a sweet little girl. She is sweet, but now, right now, we are under power hour, right? Yes, so it's are. time to give, we can give those donations to help animals like peaches here at the Humane Society of El Paso. So tell us a little bit about that and how people can donate today. Great. Um, our power hour, it gives us, we compete with other nonprofits. Whoever has the most unique donors, individual donors, can get up to $1,000 extra. Oh, wow. So if you can go to our website, El Paso, hslpaso.org, I'm sorry, uh, and choose the link. You give during this hour, and we can get up to $1,000 more. Okay, now I want to give a live look of Anton, who is actually back here at the Humane Society in the shelter area, in the kennel area, where he is doing that 24-hour kennel challenge. Tell us a little bit about that initiative and why he's doing it this year. This is our third year of doing this. Our, our first year, our, one of our, uh, our animal manager did it. Uh, Anton did it last year. He's basically wanting to bring awareness to the plight of of these animals that need good homes. He is actually an adopter. He's, his two animals came from here. Um, when he tells his story, he gets misty-eyed because it's, very, it's a very touching story. But he really does care about what we're doing. And believe me, it is not easy to stay in a kennel for 24 hours. It's not easy. I mean, we can hear those barking noises right now. I mean, it's loud out there. He is out there, but he has some good friends that are taking care of him. Well, of course, check in on him in the next half hour. So make sure to stick around so you'll hear from Anton and how he's doing this morning as he's approaching hour 13 now in that kennel. For now, I'll send things back to you guys.